Hello and welcome to the AI with Arun show. This is your AI weekly debrief, your essential source for the most significant developments in AI. For the week ending September 14th, 2025, we are tracking seismic shifts in corporate partnerships, landmark legal settlements, and technological breakthroughs that are reshaping our world. Let's dive in. A top story, a landmark restructuring of one of the most influential partnerships in the tech world. After months of underlying tensions, Microsoft and OpenAI signed a non-binding Memorandum of Understanding MOU on September 11th. This pivotal agreement allows OpenAI to transform into a public benefit corporation, giving it more autonomy while critically preserving Microsoft's access to its foundational technology. Financially, this is a massive shift. Open AI projects that by the end of this decade, it will share only 8% of its revenue with commercial partners, a steep drop from the current 20%. This change represents a staggering $50 billion in additional revenue that Open AI will retain, fueling its future development. In another blockbuster deal, Oracle has secured a monumental $300 billion five-year cloud computing agreement with OpenAI, set to begin in 2027. This massive investment will provide 4.5 gigawatts of data center capacity, reportedly for a secretive initiative known as Project Stargate. The market's reaction was nothing short of explosive. Oracle's stock surged an incredible 43% in a single day, a move so dramatic it briefly made co-founder Larry Ellison the richest person in the world. Turning to the legal arena, a historic precedent has just been set. Anthropic has agreed to a 1.5 billion copyright settlement, the largest such recovery in history. The settlement addresses the use of approximately 500,000 pirated books used to train its Claude AI chatbot. Authors whose works were, were affected will receive compensation of roughly $3,000 per work a landmark decision for creators in the age of AI. Even as it settles legal battles, Anthropic is aggressively upgrading its cloud AI with powerful new features. The chatbot now boasts advanced memory capabilities, allowing it to remember theme projects, user preferences, and work patterns across multiple conversations. In a major leap for productivity, users can now create and edit Excel spreadsheets, PowerPoint slides, and other documents directly within the cloud.ai interface and addressing critical privacy concerns, new incognito chat options have been added for sensitive conversations. Meanwhile, the race for high quality AI video generation is accelerating. Google DeepMind has released its production ready VO3 and VO3 fast models. These new systems generate videos in crisp 1080 pixel HD and are 40% faster than previous versions. Crucially, they support both 16 is to 9 and vertical 9 is to 16 aspect ratios, a direct node to the dominance of mobile-first content. In a separate honor, DeepMind has also been selected for DARPA's Quantum Benchmarking Initiative, a project aimed at assessing the future of cloud of quantum computing. Of course, all of this AI progress relies on increasingly powerful hardware. So let's look at, take a look at three key developments. First, Tesla has completed the design review for its AI5 chip set for release in 2025 as part of its Dojo 3 supercomputer architecture. CEO Elon Musk believes humanoid robots could eventually make up 80% of Tesla's value. Next, Nvidia is looking ahead to 2026 with its Robin CPX chip designed for complex functions like video creation. The processing demands are immense. It's estimated that generating one hour of video could require up to 1 million tokens. And in a potential paradigm shift, engineers at the University of Florida have developed a chip that uses light instead of electricity. This innovation could boost power efficiency by a factor of 10 to 100 while maintaining 98% accuracy, a major step towards solving AI's growing energy needs. But this rapid progress is creating significant disruption in the job market. The adoption of generative AI led to over 10,000 job cuts in 2025 alone, 
as this chart illustrates, the tech sector has been most affected. But we are seeing a decline in entry-level corporate roles and the automation of routine tasks across finance, across customer service, and creative industries as well. With AI's growing power comes a greater focus on regulation, and California is taking the lead. New state legislation now requires companies to disclose their safety frameworks and publish transparency reports. The law also mandates the reporting of critical AI safety incidents directly to the state authorities. This trust but verify approach has already been endorsed by industry players like Anthropic, which called the bill world leading AI safety legislation. Beyond the corporate and regulatory news, AI continues to fuel life-changing breakthroughs in medicine. At UCLA, engineers have developed a non-invasive brain-computer interface that combines EEG signal decoding with a vision-based AI co-pilot. Incredibly, this system allowed participants to complete tasks four times faster than they could without AI assistance. In another major advance, a new miniature imaging camera, small enough to be inserted into an artery via a catheter, is using AI to identify hidden coronary dangers in real time and with unprecedented detail. The industry itself continues to evolve at a breakneck pace. This week, XAI laid off 500 data annotation employees, pivoting to hire specialist AI tutors in fields from STEM and finance to quote shit posters and doom scrollers, all to improve the reliability of its growth model. Tesla announced that version 14 of its full self-driving software, FSD software, is delayed until the end of the year, but promises a 10x parameter increase in what Elon Musk calls the biggest upgrade since version 12. And OpenAI is bolstering its safety protocols, enhancing collaboration with US and UK safety institutes and routing sensitive conversations to more advanced models like GPT-5. We are also seeing major players expand their AI services across the globe. Google's AI mode has now rolled out to 180 countries, offering more advanced reasoning and multimodal search capabilities. Apple Intelligence is adding support for eight new languages, including Chinese and Dutch, for users on iOS 18.1 and higher. And on a national level, Singapore's ST Engineering is launching a 250 million five-year physical AI program focused on robotics and swarm systems with the goal of training 5,000 AI engineers. Finally, the money continues to flow into every corner of the AI ecosystem. OpenAI has launched a 50 million people-first AI fund to support US nonprofits using AI for education and social causes. Amazon is deepening its partnership with Anthropic, providing multi-gigawatt data center capacity to support the company's growth to a $5 billion in annualized revenue. And internationally, the UK and US have launched a multi-billion dollar partnership to advance AI, semiconductors, and telecommunications. AI's influence is becoming deeply embedded in the core functions of society. We are seeing it in governance with Albania appointing an AI minister to oversee public procurement. We are seeing it in public safety, where AI-powered cameras in Australia have scanned 140 million vehicles, leading to a 1,400% increase in seatbelt fine revenue. Yes, you heard it right. It's revenue that's coming in from people who do not have a seatbelt. And we are seeing it in the supply chain as OpenAI plans to release its own custom AI chip in 2026 to reduce its reliance on a handful of suppliers. The AI revolution truly continues to reshape our world at an unprecedented pace. And that's our report for this week. Support our work by joining us as a member. You will see the link in the description below. And thank you for watching the AI Weekly Debrief. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for the latest news and analysis.